What's up guys? Uh, moved into this new place and I finally have a proper sharpening setup. Um, it's really nothing you guys will probably be interested in, but I really enjoy it and it does impact you guys because this setup will allow me to do more knives um, so I can actually start sharpening knives for people again. Um, the whole sharpening knives thing is not really a business for me anymore because it's never feasible for me to do enough um, to actually make money from it. And the money I do take for it really just pays for materials. Um, it may seem like a lot, 20 bucks to 40 bucks for a night, depending on size and difficulty. But really, <laughs> with the amount of time I put into it and uh, the precautions I take doing it, uh, it's not that much. And it really doesn't make me any money because I spend a lot of time on a single knife for 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Anyway, this isn't talking about that. Before, I had to set up my Wicked Edge on the dining room table in my old apartment. Um, and I had my computer right in front of me. Just a lot of things that didn't need to get damaged from metal dust and such. And it really just held me back from sharpening. And I didn't have every implement right close to me. Now, I have this nice desk. I'll try and give you like a, a nice view of it. I have this nice desk stuck in a corner. And it's literally just for sharpening. So I have my uh, Wicked Edge here. I'm going to set my Edge Pro up here. But I can put the sharpeners up here, have them out of the way. Um, have this little pad so I don't damage the glass. And right here, I have this big pull-out tray where I can keep all my supplies, sharp maker stuff, books, customer book, and my book where I write, like... Uh, what knives I've done, what degrees. So if I need to touch one up, I can go back. There's tape on there. I can go back and uh, see exactly how I sharpened it and uh, do it exactly the same way. And keep my mask for the, the uh, metal dust, although Clay came up with a really good solution to that. Keep my box of stones in here, magnifying glass, uh, paper to cut with. Uh, my straps and uh, magnifying glass to look at the edge. I have more room for other things too. I really like this setup. Um, Sharpies to mark on the edge. I know that you guys probably don't care, but this was a huge deal to me. I absolutely love it. Um, so I figured you guys might want to see it. I really like this desk a lot um, for this purpose. Because I'm going to have implements up here and implements down here. And it's just stowed away. Looks neat. Um, and it'll speed up the process. Now I'm actually sitting in a comfortable chair too. And not one of those crappy formal dining chairs. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Just wanted to show you. Um, was kind of happy about it. Still loving these new arms. The fine adjustment is amazing. It makes this system so much better. Um, and these metal rods are actually a little bit thicker in diameter than the old ones, so you don't actually have to use the uh, straw upgrade anymore either. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm about to sharpen up this Techno and get it to a uh, lightsaber status, so I have a little pocket lightsaber. Techno is awesome. has a great cutting angle, so you're getting down on something and you have nothing but belly. Nothing but belly. Even when you're gripping the knife, a bunch of belly to work with. Really like this little thing. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.